Good morning, and God bless you, Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. Starting a brand new day, Wednesday morning. This is Time with God Morning Prayer and Devotion. And I am Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. Thankful that God has awakened us to a brand new day, a brand new start, and the new blessings that await us. Trust that you had a wonderful week thus far, that you've recovered, and that you were not impacted too greatly by the storms that we had in, in this area or the storms that are passing through various areas that that if you were that it is well with your soul again this is time with god morning prayer and devotion i'm pastor Irvin and barrett and we come to share with you a word from god scripture and as well give you a word of prayer praying for the needs and the desires that have been presenting unto us presented unto us and as well those that god has placed on our hearts I want to welcome our new subscribers. Thank you so much for joining us and for being a part. And as well, encourage you to please like, please subscribe, and as well, please share the word of God. We encourage you. We want to saturate our environment with prayer, praise, and proclamation. You can help us in doing that by sharing the word of God and encouraging others in the word. As well, drop some comments in the chat. And in the comment section would be such a blessing. And we would truly appreciate you for doing that. Our scripture today, as we go to the word, is going to be found in 1 Peter, 1 Peter chapter 4. And I'm going to read two verses today, verses 12 and 13. And I encourage you when you have an opportunity to read it for yourself and to read more. There's a lot of information here that I think will be helpful for you. First Peter 4, 12 and 13. Dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you're going through. As if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad. For these trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all of the world. First Peter 4, 12 and 13, the grass withers and the flowers fade, but the word of God stands forever and ever and ever. I hope this hits home for some as it hits home for me. Sometimes we become overwhelmed at what is happening in our lives and in our circumstance. This verse tells us and teaches us that we should expect some things we should look forward to some things. It helps to solidify the fact that we're on God's side, that we're on the right path, and that God is going to bless us and reward us in due season, in time, if we just hang in there and we continue to persevere. But we must do it in a certain way. We cannot do it in sadness, in sorrow, but we must do it in joy. As we talked about yesterday, rejoice always in the Lord. This verse further extends unto us the uh, command to make the choice to be happy, to be joyful in the midst of whatever you're facing. And I don't know what you're going through, and I, I, I don't belittle anyone's circumstances or situation, but I can say that whatever it is, God is saying to us, rejoice in it. Don't allow it to overwhelm you, but take pleasure, take joy, and Praise God in the midst of whatever you're facing. He goes further to say, even if you're being insulted because of your relationship with Christ, take pleasure in it. Take pleasure in your sickness. Take pleasure in your sorrow. Take pleasure in your suffering, knowing that it's for a purpose and that God is revealing his plan in your life. I thank God for this word. I pray that it blesses you and as well that it would be a blessing in others. Please share the word with someone. And as well, drop some comments in the in the chat section. Let me know if this is for you today. Let's go to God in prayer. God, we honor you and we bless you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for this time, for the privilege of sharing, for the wonderful blessings that you have made available unto us that await us in this day and as well that are happening for us. We thank you. We thank you for grace and mercy, for loving kindness, for divine patience, and for everything that you're doing, we pray that you'll continue to have your way and allow your perfect will to be done in our lives. Help us to rejoice in all things. Help us to find good and see good. 
and to maintain good in every circumstance and every situation. Help us to not be overwhelmed in our trials and our troubles and our tests, but help us to see your hand moving and to know that you're very much in control. Have your way in our lives and have your way within each and every one of us. Bless us, heal us, direct us, order our steps, get the glory out of our lives. Help us to praise you and to magnify you in all things. We come today praying for first responders and healthcare workers, praying for civil leaders, elected, appointed officials, those who were placed in position. We lift them up to you, praying that they will be led by your power, by your spirit, that you will grant direction and favor unto them. We pray for pastors and churches. We pray for people everywhere that our lives will be made better, especially those that have rule over us. We pray that you will grant them direction. We pray for peace in the land, peace in our communities, peace in our homes, peace on our jobs, peace everywhere that we're allowed to exist. We pray that you would help us to be the catalyst for that, that we will let our light shine before men, that they'll see your good works and glorify you in heaven. God, please hear and answer our prayer. We come today praying for those that are on our prayer list. We lift up Yandi Kyles, praying for healing and deliverance. Lift up Stan Polk and pray, God, that you'll continue to touch Stan and bless him and be by his side. And as he's preparing for a procedure, we already claim victory in Jesus' name, that he's going to come through better out of the procedure than he went, than he was going into the procedure. We trust and believe, God, that you're in control and that you have everything under control. We pray for Relina's son, for healing for him and for blessings in his life. Please continue to keep your hand upon him. We pray for Gordon, Gordon LeBlue, and ask that you continue to bless Gordon and continue to give him strength and power. Thank you for the wonderful things that you're doing in Gordon's life, for the strength that you're giving him, for the fortitude and for the power that you're manifesting within his life. We praise you for Gordon LeBlue. We thank you for Jane. Lift up Terry and Lisa, be with all of them, bless them, and watch over them. We pray for Miss Betty Sims, and we thank you, God, for, again, her strength and all that she is able to overcome and how she's progressing. Thank you, dear God, for keeping your hand upon her. We pray for traveling mercies for Stan and Renee, that you would be with them as they go and share with loved ones and memorialize and remember Dear aunt, we pray, dear God, that you'll be with them and that you would bless them and keep your hand upon them is our sincere prayer. Uh, we pray for Van Drummond. Continue to ask him that you would be by his side. Continue to strengthen him. We lift up Greta and Eric and pray for their safe travels and safe return and for blessings in the lives of Mr. Drummond, Greta, and Eric. We pray for John Powell and Susie. Ask, dear God, that you'll continue to keep your hand upon him, continue to bless him and as well allow him to successfully navigate through every challenge and as well that they will find you at the difficult moments, that they will see your hand and know that you're near, know that you're very much in control. God, please bless them in the name of Jesus the Christ. We pray for Molly, Veronica, Manisha. We lift up Ebony. We pray for um, Evelyn and all of those that are at the heritage. We pray for the families of Dominique Craven, pray for the family of Dean Benford. Thank you, Reverend Sam Proctor. Pray blessings upon him and his entire family. We especially lift him up unto you. Pray that you'll continue to direct his life and give him, give him the desires of his heart. Be with him, God. Bless his family in Jesus' precious name. We pray for Cheryl Grant, Pastor A.C. Stapleton, Dr. Donald Parson. Lift up unto you, Pastor Luther Williams, Pastor Theo Barrett, Pastor Albert Haynes. Pray for past, praying for Pastor Robert Redwell, Senior and Junior. Lifting them up, both up unto you. Praying for Pastor Al Sampson, Robert E. Walker, Pastor Robert E. Walker. Praying for Pastor Kevin Workman, Pastor William McKinley Jackson. Praying for Pastor Trent Williams, Pastor Aaron Reynolds. Dr. Um, Daryl Horton, Byron Jackson, also Tucknick. Pray for all of these great men. Pray, God, that you'll continue to lead their lives and direct them. Praying for Pastor and Sister Eddie Brown. 
Elder and Sister King, lifting up unto you, Deacon and Sister Jackson, praying for Ronald and Yvonne Cartwright, Dorothy Smith, Roy Williams, Anthony Johnson, and lifting up pastors and churches everywhere, Pastor Stafford, Plano, Texas, Pastor Herbert Walters, and Plano, Texas, we're praying for these great men. God, pray that you'll keep your hand up on them, praying for Scott Breaking Free Ministries, Hope Restored Missions, all in the Family Ministries, Texas Muslims Women's Foundation, Adventure and Victory Ministry. We're praying for families everywhere. We pray, God, that those that are on our prayer list and those that are outside of our prayer list will receive your blessings, your favor, and that you'll keep your hand upon them. We're lifting up Cassandra and Joseph Igana, praying, God, that you'll bless them and be with them and that you will sustain them by your might and power. Praying for Wendy. Praying for Calvin Teterton, Matt, India, Fabian, uh, Kenneth, Derek Stringley, lifting up Mother Rock, uh, Sandra Thornton, Linda Bird, Sherlene Wright, Doris Harris. Praying for Terry Hornsby, um, Wendy. Praying for Tom, and as he's transitioning back to the Midwest, God be with him. Praying for all of those that are on our prayer list, lifting them up unto you, God, knowing that you're very present help in the time of all of our troubles. We ask and pray today that you'll give us strength and the fortitude to navigate through the difficult challenges of our lives, to make it through the overwhelming moments and the times of uncertainty. We trust in your ability and your power, praying that you would have your way within our lives to pray that you'll move that you rule and super rule, and that you you will continue to bless us, keep us, and sustain us. I lift up today the Park City's Baptist Church and those pastors and brothers that I'm a part of the pastoral center to, with. I pray for Pastor Lorenzo, Pastor Byron, uh, Brian Rather Beatty, uh, Pastor Bishop Rodney Gando Gambles, Pastor Anthony Sweet, and Pastor Tim Watson, praying, God, that you'll be with all of these men. Make your presence known and as well bless the work that you have assigned to our hands. I pray that you'll continue to bless our endeavor. I thank you for the Shalom Community Fellowship Church where we're allowed to lead. And I pray, God, that you'll bless the people that we're able to lead. And I pray that you would direct their lives and, and bless our work as you're allowing us to do great things. I pray that you'll continue to bless us and make your face to shine upon us. I lift up Danae unto you and her entire family, praying blessings for them, direction, and that you will speak and that they will listen and we know they will obey. Please God hear and answer my prayer. Lift up my family unto you. And I pray that you'll continue to bless my family Continue to watch over us, provide for us the things that we need. I pray for Nicolette, pray for Nadia and Irvin, our entire family. Pray for your blessings to be upon us and that your hand to direct us. God, please hear and answer my prayer. We lift up unto you those who may be struggling today, trying to get started, overwhelmed. I pray, God, that you'll give them relief, that you'll bless them and make your face to shine up on them. I pray as well, dear God, that you'll open doors that no man can close, but as well, God, that you would close doors, that no man will be able to open, that you would only allow us to enter into places that you have prepared us for and prepared for us, and that anything that is not according to your will and plan, that you will not allow us to enter thereby. Please, God, direct us according to your purpose and your plan. Have your way within our lives. God, if you do these things, we'll be careful to give you praise, glory, and honor now and forever and ever and evermore. It is in the matchless name of Jesus, our Christ, we pray and we thank you because we know you've heard us. We thank you. We know that you're answering us. And then thank you because we know you're making a way. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And thank God. Blessings to you again, Pastor Irvin Lynn Barrett. Again, this is Time with God, morning prayer and devotion. And we're thankful that we have this time of sharing with you every morning and for the blessings that God has provided for us. I pray that you have an amazing day and that the blessings of God be upon you. I please ask that you would drop some comments in the comment section in the chat as well. Give us a thumbs up, a like, and uh, also, most importantly, share the word of God with someone. Share the word of God with someone. It's important 
and we saturate this environment, our space with prayer, praise, and proclamation. Please share the word with someone. Let it be a blessing in somebody's life. Let it direct them and lead them. Pray that you'll share the word with someone. Have an amazing day. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that. Have an amazing day. God be with you as our prayer. May he make his face to shine upon you and grant you peace. And as well, please know nothing's going to happen to you today that God has not already given you all the tools and the resources that you need for success and favor. Trust God. Trust the process. Know that God has got everything under control. Be blessed. Have a fantastic day. Pastor Irvin and Baird, until tomorrow, I'm praying for you. Please pray for me.